Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. So this is one that I've gotten asked about some time ago and I'm finally getting around to it. I apologize for taking so long, but people wanted to know how you might animate swimming. So I did some tests, or a test, and this is how we're gonna go about showing it for this tutorial. So first of all, as you may see here, we've got some dang old water and we got a Steve and we just gotta animate him. All right, so. What we gotta do first, as you may notice here, if you watched my alpha glitch tutorial, then you may know what's going on here. But first thing we're gonna do is just take our water here and we're gonna increase the render depth to one. So that way it actually looks normal and you can see Steve through it. We should be pretty good to go with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock the water layer so I don't accidentally click on it, you know? And I'm actually gonna drag the server just a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna select Steve. And we're just gonna get him into position basically by rotating him and positioning him. As you might have guessed, and I have the grid on, let me turn that grid off, there we go. And we're gonna rotate Steve, I'm gonna say maybe about, what do you think, 88? Is that far enough? How far under the water should he be? I don't know. Maybe we'll just do 85 for now. If we need to adjust it, we will. Let's go ahead and save that. And first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and get his initial pose set up. So uh, I don't really know what to tell you if you're starting out with an animation and you want him to move into this pose, but we're just gonna go with the actual swimming animation and hopefully you guys can learn enough on your own or from my other tutorials to figure out how to bridge that gap. But we're gonna go ahead and just tilt his head back a little bit. It's kind of in the water, but you know, we'll leave it at that. So the first thing we're gonna do here, we're actually just gonna animate one arm first, and then we're gonna duplicate that over and make the necessary changes, and that way we don't have to animate both of them at the same time. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and rotate Steve's arm upwards. And first thing you're gonna notice here is we want kind of a natural pose. So I'm just gonna give it like a slight bend, maybe about 10. And you normally, when you swim, wouldn't have your arm in this particular position, you would have it rotated in. So we're gonna go ahead and do like that. So imagine if his hand was cupped like you were swimming, then you know you would push down and the outside of your arm would be kind of facing up, something like this, hopefully. Uh, obviously there's different types of swims, but this is the one we're gonna go with. And uh, this is the initial pose that we're gonna go with here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna figure out exactly how far we need them to be apart. So let's just say we're gonna go 15 frames. And if I look at my project properties, we're gonna have it on tempo 30, which means, for me anyway, that each frame, each keyframe, weird stutter there, uh, is one frame in the timeline. So if I go to frame 30, then we are one second long because it's 30 frames per second. Uh, it's typically what you would render an animation at. So the tempo being 30 means that each keyframe equals one frame. Just a little digression there, but you know, hopefully that helps. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is have his arm come down and out. So we're just gonna do like so, and then rotate like this. So that's gonna kind of complete that whole motion there. He's swimming, as you might expect. And uh, then we're gonna come back up to this position again. So we're gonna copy this keyframe and paste it. And it's gonna be about another 15 frames. We may adjust this timing, but we're just gonna go with this for now. So basically one uh, second is one whole thing you got there. So one thing you may notice is Typically when people bring their arms up when they swim, it doesn't look exactly like this. So what we're gonna do is bring it out a bit around the halfway point, somewhere around there. It's gonna come up kind of like this and then maybe bend it a bit more. And let's go ahead and rotate it outward. So it's gonna come out and then up again, something like that. So you may notice here that we're getting this bit of a weird glitch here, the, the arm doesn't come up the way we want it to, and part of that is because of the way we rotate it here. What I might would want to do, let's just go ahead and reset this here so that when he swims, his arm would come down like this and kind of go back to the normal position, and then would come back out like so. And then we're going to want to rotate this up because your arm usually comes up and out of the water, something like that. And we get this awkward movement here, but hopefully we'll get it sorted out in a moment. Let's just see, like, oops, didn't mean to set that new keyframe. Let's go ahead and do that and kind of bring it up. 
All right, so basically we're gonna go ahead and iron out a little bit of the uh, movements we have here. So for instance, around here, this halfway point when his arm is coming in, it's way out here. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it in like this. So he pulls straight down, more or less, something like that. So he goes in and down and then he comes back up. And we have this weird movement here, which I'm not really happy with. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete that keyframe. And then we're gonna come up to this and we're gonna just see if we can figure out the best way to iron out that movement. So one thing I feel like, maybe we can bring this up like so, something like that. That looks a little better to me, at least it's getting there. So it looks kind of like how a swimmer might bend their arm and like kind of slice it through the water to bring it back up. And we're just gonna make this come up just a bit more because we want it to splash in as you may guess something like that and as you can see this is kind of going a little bit slow so what i'm going to do is drag these in just a couple of keyframes here make this go a little bit faster something like that it's not looking too terrible to me hopefully hopefully you agree uh so we're just gonna go with that for now, like a basic arm movement there. And then I'm gonna copy this, yeah, copy. And we're gonna come up here and basically, right when his arm is fully back, this is when we want the other arm to start doing it, I think. So we're gonna try that. All right, and as you can see, this one is all derved out. So what we're gonna do is, uh, translate these to this side. So as you can see here, our Z is set to negative 77. So what we're gonna do is remove that negative and make it a positive. And that should be all that we need to do here. Remove the negative, make it positive. That one's fine. This one, not so much, positive and positive. And then we should get the same movement, something like that, all right. So that's not too bad. As you can see, we have a bunch of keyframes here. Uh, on the test that I did, it, it turned out a little bit different. I uh, used kind of a different method, but it really depends on how you want it to look and whatnot. You can try this any number of ways until you get the look that you want. But as you can see here, we're getting some kind of basic movement here of like a swim cycle. So that's pretty much the basic of the arm, how you might want it to move. We'll see how that goes. And uh, we would basically just copy these and make them repeat so I'm going to hit this control C or you can hit these buttons down here of course and I'm going to hit control V and it pastes the first keyframe wherever your mouse cursor is by the way if you're having any trouble with that then uh, that's how that technically works so let's see what that looks like pretty blocky movement there so again I would say this is actually fairly acceptable if you're going for a really blocky kind of Minecraft example here but uh, yeah, it really depends on what you're doing. One thing I did notice, hang on, let me uh, undo this real quick. One thing I am noticing here is that this position and this position are similar. So we don't need to copy that first keyframe. So we're gonna copy these, copy, and then we're gonna hit paste. And we're gonna try it like that. There we go. Now we get rid of that little delay there because the first keyframe is the same as the last one, basically. So we're just gonna copy everything but the first ones and repeat it all right if you know how to do a walk cycle walk a cycle then uh, you pretty much know how that goes all right so now we're just going to put a few finishing touches that's probably the most difficult part of this in my opinion so the next thing we're going to do is get the head in order because uh let's just go ahead and have this arm out like this so we can kind of keep up with what we're doing here uh so the head is basically i think they usually tuck it the opposite way that their uh, arm is coming up. So we're just gonna go ahead and have Steve churn like this, something like that. And then maybe his head goes down. It's gonna lean it out, something like that. And then when this arm comes up, it's gonna be the opposite. So let's just, whoops, <laughs> there you go. Come on, man, there we go. Let's go ahead and put a negative on that and a positive on this and hopefully we are okay there. And what I'm gonna do is maybe around this halfway point, just to see what it looks like, I'm gonna have his head come up. Something like that. As you can see here, our keyframes aren't uh, symmetrical because of the, I'm using uh, 11 
frames here, but you can do it however you want. I'm just gonna leave it kind of wobbly like that. And then we're gonna just repeat this. Let me see here. We're gonna go ahead and copy this over like so, something like that, maybe around there. And that way it'll be centered every time. And then it's gonna go pretty much like this. Just make sure we get that spacing right close to the way we want it anyway. All right, so that's going really fast and his head looks kind of tarted there, but you know what I mean. I think you're getting the idea here. Uh, we're trying to just go through this and show you the basic steps. So it's not gonna be perfect, unfortunately, but hopefully it gives you the idea and uh, we'll see where that gets us. All right, so now the body, uh, we're gonna have it come up. We're gonna make it lean in the direction that we're going. So let's just say this is gonna be, let's just put like a three on it. And then we're also gonna give it kind of a little bit of a negative bend. Maybe a negative two, I don't know, we'll try that. See how that goes, copy it, and then we're gonna paste for the moment that the other arm is up. And then we're gonna do the opposite here. That should be negative three. And then we're gonna keep that bend on it and then right around here in line with the head, we're gonna take the bend out and we'll just see what that looks like. And this did not seem to take three, man, come on. Something like that, we're gonna make this all iron out. Something like that. Copy, and paste. Try to keep this in line. We're gonna use the arms, I think, to uh, figure out the timing on this part. Probably could have done that with the head. Forgot one step here. Right about here. We're gonna have this even out, right? Yeah, all right. So now we should be able to copy it and paste it. Something like that. And we're just getting like a little basic kind of move with the body there. Of course, you can exaggerate that and all kinds of stuff that you wanna do. Whatever you wanna do is fine. Um, but that's just, you know, that's the basics. You can use different numbers, but that's more or less how you might would accomplish that. Now, the next thing is I'm not really sure uh, you know, with a walk cycle, the arms are kind of opposite of the head, but I mean of the uh, legs, head. Uh, and I don't know exactly how you would do that with swimming. So I'm just going to go with a random position here. Let's just have this one down. Let's just go negative 20, maybe slightly too much, but we'll just go with it for now. And then this one's going to come up and be, say, a positive 10, something like that. And then we're just going to copy and then paste this for the opposite leg paste and let's just make this around 10 keyframe cycle here so we're going to copy this one paste it and let's see the one that's going down i assume which is going to be the left leg in this instance we're going to go ahead and just put a slight bend on it maybe about 15 and then we're going to do the same here after we copy this over so we're going to do is go ahead and copy this and we're going to hit paste and then at this point where it bridges we're going to take the right leg and put the 15 point bend on that and then we should have a little bit of a leg cycle there all right so now that we've got that cycle we're going to go ahead and just copy these last little bits here that should be our complete cycle right there and we're just going to copy paste copy and paste and then what you get let's just go ahead and Look at this terrible model. I actually feel like my test turned out better. I'll be honest, but this is basically the techniques that I use to get it. And that's how you would do that little number right there. All right. So uh, basically, let me see if I can do this here. We're just going to try this out for an example here. Uh, we're going to copy this and this like so. Paste it. And then we should have that whole little cycle there. And then you can do the same for the rest. And then you would just make your swim cycle, man. Wow, that looks bad, especially the head. The head is like way too exaggerated. I think a big part of the uh, issue with the head here is in particular these parts where the, uh, the head comes up straight. So let me just get rid of those and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And also, you know, I could probably keep that, but you would just reduce the number 
so that it doesn't come up so exaggeratedly. And of course, as always, you can add transitions to these if you want it to look a little bit different. That's all linear, so let's just go ahead and add a ease in and out sign and see if that changes anything. All right, so that makes it a little bit too blocky due to the amount of keyframes we have here. You might not want that. You could try it on the legs though. Try that, ease in and out sign. Kind of gives it a little bit more of like a fluid look to it, but it also creates somewhat of a stoppy go nature. You can experiment with that. I have tutorials on how to use transitions and whatnot, uh, but we're just gonna leave it with linear at this point and stuff. So that's pretty much a basic little swim cycle that you could create. Now, obviously this is pretty basic here. We're just kind of running through this. So there's any number of ways that you could improve this and make it better. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you might would do if you wanted to have Steve swimming and kind of doing like a normal swim cycle. If I had time to refine this, I would probably attempt to remove some of the keyframes for the arms and simplify this movement so it didn't look quite as uh, blocky here. But again, if you were going for just a basic Minecraft look, I would say this probably would be pretty passable, at least in my opinion. But that's just me. Maybe you have a different opinion. Anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. I hope it was helpful in some way, at least giving you a head start on finding your own way to do this. If it was, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends, your family, and your pets. And I will see you guys in the next video.